What up guys, you were tuned in to Two Time Moto TV, where you wanna be. Today I'm gonna keep everything short, show you guys what I got. New from Rage Cycles. I got Fender Eliminator Kit for the rear end. You can see how the rear end looks now. Hopefully you can see it and it's not too dark. But it's just plain. I don't have a license plate holder. I don't have any rear turning signals. So this kit is supposed to have all of that stuff included. And I will be installing it in my garage today. This is what the kit comes with. It comes with a rear plate to hide the ugliness underneath the rear of the tail. Also comes with a bracket. Packaging is very nice. Comes with some zip ties, couple screws in here. Guess everything's needed to bolt everything up. Comes with a rear license plate holder with a light, LED light. It also comes with the LED turn signals. Everything is plug and play. So the only thing I have to do is just take the rear fender off. I already uh, taken off that rear fender, the uh, ugly piece that the license plate come on and the turn signals. So the only thing I gotta do now is Mount everything up, stay tuned. I did fail to mention that this kit is for a Gixxer 1000. I wanna say it's the 2017 through 2019 models that you can use this uh, Fender Eliminator kit with. So starting off, I began by removing this one bolt here with a four millimeter Allen key. I'll call it a T-wrench. Next up, got two bolts for the seat. Both are five mil. That's what the bolts look like. Five millimeter Allen wrench. Next up, remove the two pin flaps. You can use a flat screwdriver just to pop them up. This is for your rear cow seat lock. They look like. Next up, there are four fender screws. One, uh, two located in the front, two located in the rear here. Remove with a four millimeter Allen key. That's what the screws look like. Four millimeter Allen key. Next, you have two five millimeter screws to remove underneath the seat cowl for the rear fender. One here, one there. Five millimeter Allen key. That's what the two screws look like. Next you have four undercarriage pins. You can use a flathead screwdriver, just pop them out. Four of them. That's what the pins look like. After removing all of those bolts, screws, and pins, the fender should pop off. You should have access to your uh, wiring harness for your turn signals and for your license plate light. All right, so just installed the first bracket. Just this here. The two nuts here that you take off from your existing fender when you buy the bike, you reuse those for this bracket. The kit comes with a washer here. You can see that you wanna install that first. Bracket in the middle, washer at the end. the first bracket got the bottom plate on held in tight uh, hand tighten with just the one bolt that the kit comes with or one screw that's a four millimeter star key or Allen key whichever one you want to use star key preferably since that's what it is 
got the license plate bracket on, and we got the turning signals on. So the kit comes with a spacer and these two, these two screws here. So what you want to do, you want to use this plate here and along with the first bracket that we put on and you want to take you want to take the license plate bracket first set it flush up against here there's two holes at the bottom of this you want to set the license plate bracket first you want to put your spacer in there your supply spacer that they give you and then your supply two screws along with the light here you want to just screw it all in and your wire should be showing like this next is the wiring with the wires connected you want to turn your bike on make sure that what you have connected is for the correct signal your left turn the signal wire your right turn the signal wire and your license plate light i do see that the license plate light is working left turn signal left turn signal is on right turn signal right turn signal is on so now the only thing I gotta do is zip tie the wires in the kit comes with zip ties clean the look up and we'll put everything back together got the wiring tucked up in there Got it zip tied together to the existing wire harnesses. Got a clean look. Everything's firm, ain't going nowhere. Make sure that you don't crimp your wires so don't zip tie it too tight. Just enough to hold the wire in place. It's not gonna go nowhere, you know, if you Got a little bit of play in the zip tie and the wire. Here's the finished product with the fender eliminator. Signal lights. License plate holder. License plate light is tucked up underneath there. You can see it. LED. Got a nice little uh, cover here. It came with the kit, has all that plastic stuff. Wires took pretty nice. I mean, you can barely tell. Sitting there pretty good. Left turn signal. Pretty bright to be daytime, you know. It's got a pretty good color to it. LED, it's left turn signal, right turn signal, four way flashes. Turned out pretty good, y'all. I'm actually about to go for a ride right now. Feel good when you got turn signals now. Never had them before. When I first got the bike, I deleted that ugly rear tail the same day I bought the bike. So I never had rear turn signals. I always felt like it's a hazard because I got to throw my hand out to let people know when I'm turning. But let's start the bike and hear what it sounds like. Once again, shout out to the guys at Rage Cycles. This is where this kit came from. $200 flat. 
You go to RageCycles.com, type in the uh, year of your bike. And whatever you guys want, this is actually a new product, so. I feel like them guys did very well. The product is nice, quality is excellent. Wiring is easy. It's not that expensive. I mean, what more do you want, you know? I feel like it was a great buy. I would do it over again if I had to. Thanks for watching. Two Time Moto TV out.